there? How lovely to see you. As you can see, this is my magic clearing in the woods. Welcome to this wonderfully unique pantomime we're going to perform for you. There are lots of different characters in our story, so you'll need to pay attention. I bet you're wondering who I am, aren't you? I know I would be. Well, I'm not at all surprised. Not one bit. I'll tell you then. My name is Edna. Or is it Ethel? Estelle? No, that isn't it either. Oh, never mind. It really doesn't matter. All that you need to know is that I am a fairy godmother. Yes, that's right. A real fairy godmother. Why? Because I'm magic. That's why. All fairies are magic. Oops, there I go again. Changing once more. That happens a lot, you know. A fairy hair to the lot. And lot of different faces telling this story. Some tall, some short, some older, some younger, some even play the same people. Psst. So now, this is the tale of Cinderella, and if you're all sitting comfortably, then we'll begin. Our story starts far away from here, at a cottage, or rather beside a cottage. One for your life, a stepmother's come in. Hide! Save yourselves! Brace for impact! We're hiding in the barn. There's no safer place. Remember when she found us in the doll's house? Nightmare. That was close. Has she gone? I can't hear her. I was so scared. I think a little bit of we came out. Oh, for goodness sake, we can take you anywhere. Things have gone from bad to worse since she moved in. The sooner the Baron is back from his honeymoon, the better. Well, I can't see that happening. Who would want to live here? What? Why not? Why would he not come back? I've known many humans go on honeymoons. No, you see, normally humans go on honeymoons in pairs. Yep, exactly. When you get married, you have a holiday. So, you think she's going to go and join him later then? No, silly! We're saying something's gone wrong! Yeah, that's exactly what we did. Ha! Something happened! You don't think she's done away with him, do you? Crumbs! Well, I didn't see or hear him leave the house. Did you? I bet that a horrible fat daughter of her. Virginia's eating him! Did you have to mention eating? We're all hungry, you know! Something's got to be done! We need a volunteer! You're not going up there, are you? That's crazy talk! Somebody has to for all our little mousy sex. But, but, but... A slippery slope to certain suicide. Yes, an impossible rocky road to ruin and damnation. Get out, right? Dangerous! I went up there once, never again! Don't look at me. I'm not doing it. I'm the self preservation. I'm afraid I'm a small but vital part of this story. Got to go. Wish me luck, my friends. I don't know when I'm going to see you again.
Oh dear, Virginia and Honeysuckle must have had a midnight feast. I best clear all this mess before my stepmother sees it. Poor old Cinderella, her stepmom and sisters are so mean to her. That horrible stepmother is the worst. Make sure you boo when you see her. Oh, I'm so lonely. If only you could talk, Pumpkin. Oh, you'd need a name, of course. I just can't call you Pumpkin now, can I? That just sounds odd. What am I doing talking to Pumpkin? <sighs> Take a jump, no one can see me. Hello? What's this? Oh, a tiny mouse. Oh, you poor little thing. Let me help you. Cinderella! Oh, where is that useless stepsister of mine? So unreliable! I'm in the kitchen, honeysuckle, just preparing you another second breakfast. Cinderella, you better not be eating again. Remember what happened last time? No, honeysuckle, I'm not eating anything. Just standing here in rags as usual. Cinderella! Oh no! It's Cinderella's evil stepmother! All together now! There you are. I was just looking for you. I need you to do something. And it's far too menial for me, obviously. Rita, what's that you have there? I saw her. She was holding it in her hand. No tongues or nothing. No tongues, Cinderella. You must disinfect your hands this moment, this instant. No, stepmother, no. I was only about to share it with the mouse. Please don't be angry. I didn't take anything extra. I had some left over. Left over, I see. Clearly we are feeding you too much. Ah, from now on. She was giving our food to that mouse, Mummy. She was feeding it? Knowingly harbouring vermin in a domestic environment? The shame! She's been stealing food, you horrible, ungrateful stepsister! Fruit, Cinderella. Were you feeding that beastly creature? Just a little bit of stinky cheese that you gave me for breakfast. Well, I say cheese, more like a piece of biological warfare if you ask me. You had better be telling me the truth, you positively repulsive child. Or Mummy will lock you back up in the barn again, won't you Mummy? Yes, I will. It's just your furry little friend there for company. Mm. I wonder we 
which one of them would go hungry first, Mummy? I don't know. Maybe that mouse might start nibbling on your toes. I'll try harder to be a good stepdaughter and stepsister to you all. If you want to waste your food, you can just go without breakfast from now on. We of course will be eating your share as well. <laughs> we don't waste food like you do. Quite the disappointment. She's really horrible, isn't she? It's a good job that we started Vera when we did. Let's try that again, Michelle. Just to get a little bit of extra practice. After three, one, two, three, boom! <laughs> yeah, not bad at all. Keep a weather eye out for her, though. Be ready to boo. And you lot can be quiet too, or you'll be joining Cinderella in the barn. Now, Cinderella, when you've helped your lovely sisters to beautify themselves, you can wash the floor and sweep the hall with a toothbrush. <laughs> then you can clean the stone and polish the silver, blindfolded. Suck up all the cobwebs from the spooky cupboards through a snorkel. Plump up all the cushions on every sofa using your feet wearing flippers. And finally, dust all the pictures and then clean the sink with your tongue until it sparkles. Well, what are you waiting for, you useless girl? Go to it, I won't tell you again. That was horrible, wasn't it? It was so mean of her to make Cinderella do all of that. If only there was something we could do. But what? I know. Let's boo! Of course, stepmother. Right away, stepmother. I'm going right now. It seems like all I ever do is follow the three of them around non-stop. Cinderella! Cinderella! My hair needs untangling! Come and sort it out! Well, you do have hair like a toilet brush. What do you expect? Oh. You're just jealous because my hair always looks beautiful. It's only because you take it off the mop and put it on your head. Yes, Honeysuckle. Yes, Virginia. You called? Did you want something? Where is my breakfast, Cinderella? I am hungrier than a mouse without a menu! What would you like to eat, Dead Sisters? I could cook you something. Oh, just the usual. One set of baked beans and two fried eggs. <laughs> Three hash browns, golden brown, and four pieces of black pudding! Five sausages, lightly boiled, and six rushes of crispy bacon. Seven triangles of fried bread and eight slices of toast with marmalade. And nine individually wrapped special breakfast mints from the special breakfast mint shop. And a mug of tea for each of you with... Ten sugars. I'm going to need a tray. To carry all of this, all the way up from the kitchen, it might take two trips. Two trips? You're going to make one of us wait for our breakfast? Ten sugars. Don't be so ridiculous. We're starting our diet today. I could use the garden. 
So it's five sugars and five sweeteners, obviously. Yes, and make sure you spread our toast all the way to the corners this time. I don't know why you find it hard to make breakfast. I really don't. No, of course. I'm sorry. Uh, Virginia and Honeysuckle. I'll get that to you both now. Right then, let's get to work. Let's get them beans on now. Where are the secret sprinkles? You should send her off into the forest without any breadcrumbs, you know. I know! I am looking after my figure after all! I've got to count the calories! Count them? The numbers go that high? You certainly can't count that far. You're just jealous because I'm the one with the fuller figure. Big is beautiful! Big is beautiful? When you step outside, the people think there's been an eclipse. Me? You're spherical, like a globe. You have your own weather system. Full of figure! Your figure so full, you're bursting at the seams! Well, Mummy says I could be an Olympic swimmer, so there. Only because you could float so well, you'd be in danger of shipping! Cinderella! Oh no! She's come back again! The horrible stepmother! You know what to do! Boo! See who's at the door. And if it's that silly boy who's trying to sell his cow again, send him away. Right away, stepmother. Gosh, it looks like a letter from the palace. A palace? Which palace? The palace? We've had a letter from the palace. Maybe. The envelope is embossed and there's a gold seal, but I could be wrong. What does it say? What does it say? Open it! Open it! Come on! Do not touch that envelope, Cinderella. Step away. Give it to me at once. Envelopes such as this require careful handling by someone experienced in such matters. Oh, I expect this letter is the long overdue official notification of my OBE. Ah! Virginia, honeysuckle. This letter has wonderful news from the palace! What is it, Mummy? Are they going to make you a day? She ain't nothing like a dame! Girls, we have been invited to Prince Charming's special birthday ball! Oh, I do like so good night out. Will there be a free bar? Nibbles. Ah, oh, they ate olives. Girls, do be quiet. It says here that the prince is going to be 21. What to wear? What to wear? Mummy, I'll need a new dress at once. And you know what that means, don't you? My two lucky ladies. But he'll get lots of presents, and we'll get to help him open them. We'll be getting him something far better than presents, my gorgeous girls. We don't actually have to buy him a present though, do we, Mummy? What could be better than a present? A sneeze and no tissue? A colonoscopy? He's on Earth? Goodwill towards men, women, and the gender fluid. Oh, as if, Cinderella! Why would anybody ever want something like that? 
Only 7.8 billion people, give or take a few like you. Quiet! The reason for having a 21st birthday ball for the prince is... To have the opportunity to try many interesting cheeses and butters to throw caution to the wind and serve shellfish at a catered affair. No girls, to find him a wife. And I intend to make sure it's one of you two. I'm, I'm going to marry the prince! I'm going to marry the prince! I'm going to marry the prince! Oh no you're not! Oh, oh yes, yes I, I am! am. Now stop that, all of you. Girls, go and commence your prettifying preparations. We have a big night ahead of us. Ah, Cinderella, where do you think you're going? To get ready for the ball, stepmother, I checked the invitation. It said that the prince wishes to invite all eligible ladies in the home. Yes. Exactly. You are neither eligible nor a lady. You won't be going to the ball. Now go and help your sisters get ready. If Norsey is just looking at you. She says the most horrible things. Once she wanted to turn me into a pie. Who knows what will happen at Halloween? She makes me want to boo. Hello again. Yes, it is me, your favourite fairy godmother, Emma. Or is it Elizabeth or Emily? Never mind. As you can see, I have made my way to this forest. Actually, I'm glad I bumped into you. I appear to have lost my way here. According to the constellations, to the well house, to be around here. But I haven't been able to find it. And now I don't know where I am. Or well, what am I going to do? Go to the right this time. Oh, Max, I'm curious. What are you doing over there? Hang on a minute. You can speak mouse, but but you're a grown-up, aren't you? Like C3PO before me, I am fluent in over six million forms of communication. Wow! That's absolutely 
absolutely amazing! That is! Is it magic because you are a fairy? No, it's because it's contemporary cinematic culture. That's all. Very normal. Well, my name is Elvis the Mouse and it's very nice to meet you today. You too, Elvis the Mouse. Glad to meet your acquaintance. Now, what is it you want? I was just saying that astrology won't work in the daytime. I think you mean astronomy, my dear. Astrology doesn't work at any time. Oh, yes! Right! Astronomy! That's what I mean. But you still need a moon and stars. Oh, dearie me! It appears I'm lost until the sun goes down. Well, I used to live in a house not far from here until quite recently. If that helps? It just may do! Now, what brought you all the way out here into the forest there? A wicked stepmother's xenophobic intolerance for peaceful interspecies cohabitation. Uh, could you direct me to Cinderella's house? I have urgent business to attend to there. Yes, of course. I'll warn you now. You better be careful of her awful stepmother and her two terrible daughters, the horrible Honeysuckle and Violet Virginia. Oh, I've handled their sort before. It'll take more than overacting to get the better of me. Well, if you ever need anything, just let me know. My friends and I would gladly help. Thank you very much. I may well call on your assistance. If there is a sudden crisis. Is there anyone else in the house I could ask for help if I needed anything? Let me see. Well, there's Buttons a pumpkin. He's a pumpkin called Buttons. He doesn't talk much, but he's very belly. I see. Well, come on then, Master Mouse. Let's be on our way without delay. Happy birthday, Your Highness, and most noble prince of the realm. Really, Prandini, my most loyal and trusted servant, what have I got to be happy about? Why, sire, everything is prepared for your big birthday ball this evening. Oh, please don't remind me. That's the last thing I need right now. Whatever is the matter, Your Worship? Are your royal socks too tight again? No, Dandini, but why must my grandfather insist on throwing on this ridiculous ball? For it is tradition, sire. This one is sure to be even greater and grander than your father's was. And his father's father's before him, and his father's 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 before that. Yes, but it's so outdated. Princes don't have big birthday balls anymore. But my prince, how else are you supposed to be voluptuous, young lady, sire? Voluptuous? What do you mean by voluptuous? Please specify. Suitable, suitable young ladies to court, sire, to schmooze, to entertain. No, I don't think so. Oh, I don't know, Dandini. Internet dating, maybe? Oh, but sire, the king and queen would never. I mean, they couldn't, could they? I know, I know, they never would, would they? It's just my luck to be born a prince. I'm due to the host of the royal equivalent of last year's TV talent show Grand Final Rejects. When all I really want is to meet someone beautiful, genuine, kind, caring and... Intelligent, sire. You want a beautiful, genuine, kind, caring and intelligent woman? Well, I was going to say talented, but yes, intelligent would be nice. Perhaps there'll be somebody acceptable at the ball tonight, my liege. Oh, I only wish to share your optimism, Dandini. But I'm afraid my regal 
receptacle is half empty. I'll go and run your royal bath, sire. You know you always feel better in the bubbles. Thank you, Dandini. And where's my tubby toy? Have you seen it? I'm sure I had one. Now, come along, my beautiful girls. Quick, are you with me? After three, one, two, three. I have been waiting a long time for this, and neither of you two are going to muck it up for me. Mummy, when I marry the prince, will I still have to share a bedroom with Honeysuckle? Oh, don't worry. As soon as he sees me, he won't want to marry you. When I walk into that ballroom, my handsome prince will only have eyes for me. Yes, that's because he won't be able to see around you. At least I don't completely disappear when I turn sideways on. Like a spoon. Yeah, well, I put on one of your dresses the other day and my whole body went through the neck hole. So? At least I don't use my wellies to store the frog spawn in like a beardy weirdo. That was a scientific experiment, and well, you know it, you, you hermaphrodite. Dogs, behave yourselves. Just think, when we've backed the prince. No one will be sharing any rooms anymore. We'll all be living together at the palace. One bathroom for me, one bathroom for you. Honeysuckle. Another bathroom for me. One bathroom for you, Virginia. Does that mean I won't have to sleep in the fireplace with you, more stepmother? Of course, Cinderella. You will move in with your other queens for royal toilets. Now, come along, ladies. We've a prince waiting for us. Chip a doodle. Coming, Mummy. I just got to finish putting my false eyelashes on my false eyelashes. I'll be right there, Mummy. I'm just finishing my finishing touches and then I'll be finished. Hey, Cinderella! Love you and leave ya! Wouldn't want to be ya! Bye! Don't wait up, Cinderella. I'm fishing for princes tonight. Gonna catch me a big one. Can you believe it? Those two frightful girls have gone off and left Cinderella at home. Let's well, just boo because it seems the right thing to do. And boo! <coughs> oh, Buttons, I wish I could go to the ball and see inside the palace. And watch the dancing and eat the responsibly sourced vegan tofu. It's always good to have a dream, Cinderella. I had a dream once. I dreamed I was a golden pumpkin coach with magically transformed horse mice. Oh, you're so silly, Buttons. You know, though, I sometimes imagine that I am a princess. And that I will meet a handsome prince who will take me far away from all of this. Oh, it's silly, really. I know. I mean, what could a prince possibly see in me? What do you mean? Any prince would be crazy not to fall for you, Cinderella. Why, if I was a prince instead of a pumpkin with no legs, I'd risk you away myself. That's so silly. I'm just a uh, put upon pretty girl whose only friend is a pumpkin. Not that there's anything wrong with pumpkins, of course. I'm sure many women have a trusted friend who is like a pumpkin. Large, like a pumpkin. Firm and fleshy, like a pumpkin. Yes, quite. Many women.
coming. I'm sure. Um, so about that cleaning? Where should we start? This washing up or that large pile of laundry? Now who must that be? Virginia must have forgotten her sandwiches. Hello, young lady. Are you the current occupier of this fine if somewhat humble abode? Oh, I'm awfully sorry, but my stepmother isn't in at the moment. She's gone to the prince's ball with my two allegedly attractive stepsisters. Oh, I see. Well, I hope I'm not too late. Who are you then, dearie ducks? I'm her stepdaughter, Cinderella. This was my father's house until he married her. And do I take it that you do not like going to Grand Palatia Balls dancing or princess then? I do. I mean, I would, of course. But I've got to stay here and clean the house. Oh, really? And what does your father have to say about you missing out? I don't think he knows anything about it. To be honest, he's gone away, you see. And now he's been away so long, I don't think he'll ever be coming back. Sometimes I worry that something simply awful may have happened to him. There, there, dear, not to worry. Everything's going to be all right now. How, when I'm stuck here with a horrible woman and two horrible daughters? Oh, I do apologise. First things first, I believe this little mouse lives here. I found him in the woods. Or should I say, he found me. It was quite a scene. He told me about your awful stepmother and her dreadful daughters. Now, Elvis the mouse, tell your terrific team of rollicking rodents to prepare themselves. I have a feeling we're going to need them. Cinderella, you are definitely the person I've come to help. You still haven't told me who you are, or what you are doing here. Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry. I am a troop. Or is it Emma? Oh, never mind. I'm your fairy godmother. I have a fairy godmother. I'm sorry, but I really don't understand any of this. What is there to understand? Just listen and do as I say. It's quite simple, really. Unless... <gasps> no! Don't tell me you don't want to go to the prince's birthday ball! Which I don't mind telling you would be rather a shame because just between you and me. Those four little mice, that rather large pumpkin, and the entire expensive cast of this truly unique cross-continental virtual and interactive pantomime extravaganza. It's not something that you, me, Anybody watching this would want to miss. Of course I want to go, but just look at me. My clothes are in rags and the palace is miles away. Really, my dear, are you always this pessimistic? There's only one thing to do. It's tune-up time. Ready, everybody? All together now. After four. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Cinderella, 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 Cinder
What a way to finish Act One with a song. I love to sing. I'd sing all the time if I could. I hope you all joined in with the words and maybe added a few actions too. So then, where are we? What's happened so far? We've met Cinderella. And her lovely friend, Button Pumpkin. He's very good at booing, isn't he? I hope he never has to boo at me. That would be awful. And speaking of awful, isn't Cinderella's horrible stepmother horrible? I bet she wears an iron hat when no one's looking. If I didn't know better, I would say wherever she walked, a flower all cute. <gasps> what do you think? Do you think that when she sings, the trees all shiver? Yes, me too. Puts me in the mind of another lady character I read about in a book somewhere. No. Who else have we met? Oh yes, the mice. Aren't they all adorable? My favourite is Dave. If you like Dave too, that's good because he'll be back soon. We've met the prince and his servant Dandy. I hope he chooses wisely at the ball. I think he's going to have a hard time fending off those two horrible girls, Honeysuckle and Virginia. But enough of Act 1, let's start Act 2! As I think, I would hear Cinderella coming now. Oh, thank you so much, Fairy Godmother. This new dress is absolutely beautiful. You're very welcome, and you look gorgeous in it. Just enough sparkle. The prince will never have seen a dress as pretty as this at the ball. Quite so. What's next? Oh yes. Let's sort you out some transport, shall we? Buttons? Here, miss. But don't forget the shoes. The shoes are very important in this story. My, my. You're quite right, Buttons. Thank you. Now then. A shoe spell. Ah, oh, yes. As dolphins swimming use their flippers, you, for dancing, need glass slippers. Glass shoes, really? Do you think that's the most sensible form of footwear, do you? Have you considered the long-term consequences to both proximal phalanges? your chance. What were the words again? Oh yes. Coach from a pumpkin we will create to get you to the palace gate. Has she done it? It feels like I'm still standing here. Oh buttons, you're beautiful. Look at you, all in gold and so many sparkles. Do you really think so? But Cinderella, are you sure my bum doesn't look as big as a coach? Oh no, my dear Buttons. It's very becoming. Honestly, compact and bijou. Oh, that's good then. I wonder if I'm still full of seeds. I don't feel any different. We have a coach. <coughs> we have a coach. Now, for some coachmen and horses. <gasps> Elvis the Mouse! Cinderella is going to the ball, and that is when you and your accommodating chums come in. Ready, Hall! I've bowled down with my three friends, and we are ready, willing, and able, Miss Ma'am. 
ready, willing, and able. Wonderfully useful names for such a fine collection of mice. No, no, Miss Man, this is Itch. Hello, I'm Itch. It's a Scratch. Hello, I'm Scratch. to meet you all. One, two, three, four, two horses and two coachmen, I think. Oh, I'll just ask, are there any preferences amongst you as to who shall become what? No. 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 Can I be a Cinderella? No. no. an itch. Front and centre, please. Wonderful! Now, stand up straight, please. Elvis and Itch, you will, of course, both become a fine, strong horse. I don't feel any different. Well, you do have a long face. I need my two coachmen now. Scrap. Dave, where are you? Ready when you are, Mom. Ready as I'll ever be, I suppose. You'll soon be ready in a flash with shiny shoes and a big moustache. Oh yes, I'm very pleased with you all. Now, pumpkin horses, coachman places. I don't know how to thank you enough, Fairy Godmother. Thank you so much. You're very welcome, my dear. But before you go, there's something I need to tell you. Oh, yes. What's that? I have my kiwi fruit and its lethal and deadly wooden spike. Carefully concealed inside. Just waiting to catch out the unwary consumer. Oh, right. That's nice. No, no, but you must be home before the clock chimes 12 at midnight. After that, it's back to rags, mice and pumpkins all over again. No fairy godmother, I promise. Back before the clock chimes midnight, I promise. Good, then off you go then and enjoy yourself and look after her, my mice and pumpkin. The prince will be putty in my hands when he sees my dance moves. More like removals, men, I'd say. Up a bit, down a bit, left a bit, right a bit. You're just jealous. He'll be mine the minute he sees my moonwalk. It's out of this world. He'd have to be out of his mind to even look at you with me in the room. You? Look at the state of you! You ain't no Christmas tree in your crinoline! At least I don't spend every waking moment posing and pouting like a peacock. Well, you two stop squabbling. It's almost time for the formal introduction. His voice like thunder. It's not my fault. Honeysuckle started it. She was being nasty to me again. No, I wasn't. You started it. I was only saying I had the legs of a graceful gazelle. But the face of a rhino. A whole safari in one lucky person. Oh my goodness, I so can't believe you just said that. Mummy, tell her. Be quiet, the both of you. Here comes the prince. Try to be feminine. Hmm. I'll wager he has a handlebar moustache and his trousers are always <laughs> freshly pressed. Look at the size of his ears. They are huge. 
If he goes out in a strong wind, he'll corkscrew himself into the ground. <laughs> oh, look, Virginia. Look at the size of his feet. They're massive. Well, you know what they say about big feet, don't you? Big feet, big. Socks, girls. Now, please come along. Here, next in line. Oh, I'm feeling quite giddy. That blazer, oh, it looks immaculate. And look, girls, his shoes, they are polished mirror bright. Ooh. Ladies and gentlemen, His Royal Highness Prince Marmaduke Jr. The third. Your Highness, please allow me to introduce my two single daughters. No, I am not the Prince. I am Dandini, His Majesty's Royal Consigliere, as it were. Oh yes, of course. Do excuse me. Oh, Your Lord, it's such a privilege. It's my unfortunate privilege and your unaccustomed pleasure, I assure you. <laughs> your Majesty, such a tease. We could spend hours laughing, couldn't we? I tell a joke, then you tell a joke. No one tell me you were so funny. That's because nobody else thinks I am. And these two debutantes are? Oh, such posh words, your majestiness. I do love a good majesty. Oh, I do. Hmm, I've never met a Marmaduke Majesty before. Are your favourite sweets M&M's? Do people call you Mom for short, Mr Prince? Must be confusing for your mum. So are the King and Queen here anyway? I would have hated my parents to have come to my party. Your Royal Royalness, this saintly beauty is my daughter, Honeysuckle. Honeysuckle, your graceness, and I'm just as sweet as honey. And this rarest bloom is my other daughter, Virginia, your honour. Virginia, your princeness, and I'm just as ready as a... My leave, your other guests, my noble lord, yes. Thank you, ladies. Uh, that's enough now. Oh, right, yes. Uh, excuse me. Um, ladies. Got to go. Mingle, you know. This way, I think, Your Majesty. Yes, hover beside the ice sculpture. You rescued me just in time there, Dandini. I felt verbally eviscerated. You've scared him off, you have. Now we've lost our chance with the prince. Me? It was you being horrible and saying stupid stuff and putting him off. Me? How could it be me? I only had one line with him. One line? It's all any of us get, you know. Why should you be any different? Quiet, girls. Our prince's attention has been diverted by her over there. I wonder who she is. I'll go and find out from that dandy fellow. How common! I mean, just look at her shoes. You can see her feet. I hate toes. Oh, yuck! Who wants a pair of see-through shoes showing off all your verrucas? Exactly. Of course I have perfect feet that would look pretty in anything. What? Even a giant puddle of cow muck? Well, if you insist! Shut up, you two. There's something familiar about her. I just can't place it. Is it the way she stands? No. Her face.
face and voice, maybe. Hmm, could be... Dandini! Who is that beautiful woman? Over there, betwixt the two Grecian columns. I don't recognise her, sire. Shall I inquire as to her heritage and heraldry, perhaps? Bring her over, would you? I think one might rather like to be introduced, as it were. In that case, my lord, might I perhaps suggest something a little more private? Perhaps the Royal Arboretum, perhaps, sire. The weather really is quite lovely. Yes, yes, Etten. Take her out there and I should join you at a properly dramatic moment. Excuse me, miss, but my sixth day Lord Master would like to make your acquaintance. The Prince? Me? I oh, know. Have I done something wrong? Is it my hair? On the contrary, madam, no. I believe, in fact, that you have saved the Prince. From a fate worse than a fate worse than death. Apparently. A fate worse than a fate worse than death? Oh my. That sounds pretty bad. Indeed, miss. But now to you. Who shall I introduce you as? Cinder, no. Gosh. <laughs> um, I'm Princess Anonymity. Very well. Her lady, Anonymity. May I introduce His Royal Highness, Prince Marl? Thank you, Dandini. She knows who I am. You may leave us now. Yes, my prince, of course, my prince. Anything you ask for, my prince. Got to love him, right? Anything I want and he finds it for me. Quite a skill, really. Oh, yes, I guess. He was just saying how I may have saved you from something. Oh, yes, indeed, my lady, for it was a fate worse than a fate than death. There's no doubt about it. One is indebted to you. One has been vermiciously cornered. By the terrifying Baroness Harder and her ghastly daughters. There was nothing I could do. There was nowhere I could go. I think I may have thrown up in my mouth a little bit. Oh, I'm sorry. It must be so hard being stuck in a situation you can't get out of. Oh, you have no idea, my princess. Do you know of them at all? My father spent some time with her once, sire, regarding some property. One trust he escaped, her gorgon-esque clutches unscathed, the brave fellow. Actually, I'm not at all sure though that he did, sire. No one has seen him for quite some time. Oh, gosh. Well, you know, one isn't usually very good at this sort of thing. Talking? Your Highness, I would have thought you would have loved a little mingling. To be quite truthful, Miss Nimity, may I call you an om? I find this whole affair a frightful bore. You said that I twice, in the same sentence and everything. Did I? Oh yes, I did, didn't I? I just did it again. I feel as though I can relax when I'm with you. There's just something so real about you. No artifice, no ruse, no fairy glamour. Oh, uh, yes, thank you, sire. Uh, yes, <laughs> just one tiny thing. That's nonsense. Let us return to the ballroom at once and announce our engagement. Why don't we start with the dance and go from there? Who knows what you'll find out? Good idea. Dance first, announcement after. Jolly totally good plan. Let's go. 
Just look at that cheap trollop with the feet, dancing with the prince like I shouldn't wonder. That's it! I'm back off to the buffet tables and then to the bar! Carry me home when you're ready! Yes, this party is rubbish. We would have been better off skinny dipping in the palace pond. Speak for yourself. I'm going to see if any of the other rich boys fancy a night to remember. Girls! Girls! The prince! The prince! Where are you going? This is my... our chance! Don't give up now. You have no idea what I had to do to get you an invitation to this ball. So, Princess Aaron, do you find a palace all right? Any difficulties getting here? Oh, you wouldn't believe me if I told you. Tonight has been quite an adventure. Oh my goodness me, I have to go. What? No, wait, stay a little longer, please. I'm so sure it'll be my prince, but I have to go. Farewell. Please come back. Dandini, stop her. I'm sorry, sire. She was too quick for me. She didn't even stop to pick up her shoe. Oh, Dandini, I'm the girl of my dreams. And then I lost her again. Oh, my God. And so about Ness and her hideous harpy the second time? Never. Oh, Dandini, why would she run away? It wasn't you, it was me. No. Why? Do girls really say that? <laughs> Have you overdone the royal aftershave again? Don't be absurd, Dandini. I must find her. Did he say anything that might help, sire? No. There's nothing I can think of. I know her name! Then it appears all is lost, your highness. Talking about lost things. What are we doing with her see-through shoe? A delicate glass slip. Where? Here, sire, she lost it and she ran away. Oh, Dandini, you've saved the kingdom. Send for the town crier immediately. I don't really think it would fit him, sire. I hope not, but I know whose foot it will fit. The angel of my dreams. The star in my sky. The single, sweetie. In my packet of sweeties. Oh, for goodness sake, here we go again. Every young lady in the kingdom will try it on. Until I find her, now find me that town crier. He's an important announcement to make. Oh, look, a pumpkin. That's weird. I had such a wonderful time last night. The prince was so kind and handsome. What a shame. Having to run out on him like that. And now I'll probably never see him again. Last night was a total calamity. An unmitigated catastrophe. An utter cataclysm. All right, all right, we get it. Blimey, anyone would think you'd had a miserable time. How my prince could fall for that ugly bird with that fancy invisible shoes is beyond me. Your prince, he was mine before that little witch waltzed in without so much as a by your leave. And those glass slippers with that coloured dress. I mean, they just didn't go. I know I wouldn't be seen dead in that combo. So last season, so gauche. Cinderella! Mm. Ah! Oh! Take 
raid in our house at once. The prince and his entourage will be here at any moment. Yes, stepmother, of course. But why should the prince be coming here? He is coming to propose to one of my lovely daughters. Oh, I have no doubt. Oh, did it not go so well? I thought you said you had to leave the ball early. Oh, that foxy prince. He was just pretending to ignore me the whole time. He did it so well too. He kept hiding behind suits of armour when he saw me. I knew it would work if I played hard to get. That's what I like to do with my man. Give him some slack and then reel him in at once. Sometimes it's very nearly worked. Virginia, really? He's a prince, not a fish. Now go and prepare yourself for our royal visitor. Cinderella, while the prince is here, I have no desire to either see nor hear you. Is that clear? Yes, stepmother. I'll go out to the barn and play with the mice and imagine they were horses. Elvis! Itch! Scratch! Dave? Are you all down there? I'm on my way. Quick, quick! The prince is here! Shave my crumpets! Butter my legs! Don't be such a nincompoop. The prince is here for me, not you. I mean, as if. Oh no, he isn't! Oh yes, he is! Oh no, he isn't! Oh, yes, he is. Don't start now, Will. The audience isn't going to agree with either of you. And that is that. Madam, are you in a fit and present state of capacity to receive this, our royal decree? Oh, yes. Yes, of course. It's always a special occasion when a dignitary comes to call. Yes, quite. My lord, this is the last household registered in the kingdom. By the love of ventiful geraniums, it's them! Why are we stopping here, Dandini? Well, the Queen, sire, it requires every young lady in every house to try on this slip. Well, if we must, I suppose let's get it over with then. I've lost all hope anyway. Right away, sire. Whomsoever the slipper fits, the prince shall marry on the morrow. It's ghastly, Mummy! Do I have to? It's just like the one that girl was wearing last night! I will if you won't. I wonder where I'd left that. You see, I have the other invisible shoe here. I'm first. Honeysuckle will be before Virginia. If his list is alphabeticalized. It will be the oldest first, and that's me. Check it over here, Dandy, there's a love. One must apologise, Your Highness. Tis but their youthful exuberance that enamours them so. Youthful? Really? If you insist. Anyway, might I suggest we follow the orders on my list here? Of course! We are ready to accommodate our ruling lord and master's every waking whim. No, no, just tying on the shoe will be fine. My ruthlessly tabulated list states... Honeysuckle first. See? Told ya. Look, mummy, look. It fits. It fits. Pucker up. Buttercup. up. I'm coming in. Madam! The dainty slipper is meant to encapsulate your whole foot, not just your big toe. Well, you should have been more specific. Mummy, tell him he should have specified. Indeed, miss. How amiss. I was not to mention the specifics required of putting on a shoe. Give it here, honeysuckle. I'll show you what a real winner's foot looks like. My lady, 
It appears you may be suffering from an additional appendage, it seems. No, see? Fits like a glove. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. I'm all yours coming at me. I believe you may have taken that leg from a mannequin and are therefore disqualified. Come, Dandini, let us return to the palace. I grow weary and have failed in my quest. One moment, sire, if you will, for there is a third name on my list for this establishment. But the old bat only had two monsters in tow last night. Don't tell me there's another one. A Cinderella, I think, my lord. The rightful owner of these cottages and gardens. Oh, that'll be the Baron's daughter from his first marriage. She's moved away, I'm afraid. Oh, yeah. Cinderella? Yes. Um, never met her. Don't know her. <laughs> Doesn't live here. No, you see, we are looking after the house for her. For whenever she comes back. Yes, spend all day cleaning, I do. Scrubbing here, washing there, just like Cinderella. I know you told me to hide, stepmother, but I heard Honeysuckle calling my name. Oh my word, it's you, the lady from last night. You're real. Oh heavens be praised. Your Highness, I'm not entirely sure I understand. What's going on? I believe this delicate glass slipper belongs to you, my lady. I won't find this owner. Thank you, Your Highness. I had such a magical night last night. It was wonderful. My princess, you know I had a feeling anonymity wasn't your real name. I'm sorry, do you forgive my deception? It was the only way I could come to the ball. Of course. Though one day you'll have to tell me why we found the pumpkin too. Do something, Mummy! Cinderella's leaving with the prince! It's not fair! Ah, Cinderella, you've returned. How lovely to see you back home again. Do you bring us news from your long-lost father? My husband, the Baron? I thought you said that you'd make sure we'd never hear from him again, Mummy! Dandini, arrest those three ghastly grotesques. I want them locked up by sundown. Right away, sire! Don't worry, ladies. We have some lovely private accommodation at the palace. See to it that they never have the opportunity to darken our door again. Any of them! As you wish, my lord. I believe we just had a new vacancy in the sanitation department. Well, that doesn't sound too bad. Our own room at the palace. Just like you promised, Mummy. Oh, be quiet, you silly girl. We've been locked up with nothing but a toilet brush for company. So horrible, ugly Cinderella gets everything. The prince, the palace, and the happy ending. Yes, it seems so. I'm sorry, girls. I failed you. I'll try being a wicked witch next time! My prince, I never thought I'd see you again. Thank you so much for finding me. Our sweet Cinderella, I'm so glad you did. Now we shall be able to attend balls together! Tell me, whose crazy idea was it to try that shoe on every fair maiden in the kingdom? Oh my, but do tell me, do you travel everywhere by a pumpkin? Or is it only official engagements? Hello again. Yes, 
is Eleanor, not Esther, Evangeline. No, that hardly seems likely. Oh, never mind. Doesn't really matter. No, I mean it really doesn't. Now don't start. We all knew this was going to happen eventually, and here we are. Cinderella and the prince got married and lived happily ever after in the palace. Dandini, it seemed, had rescued Buttons the pumpkin and become rather fond of him. Elvis the mouse, together with Titch, Scratch and Babe, moved to a windmill. And while the prince allowed Honeysuckle and Virginia to stay and scrub the royal toilets, he banished the evil stepmother from the kingdom, making her forever travel the country. Year after year, failing auditions for famous television talent shows, time after time. <sighs> I'm back in my magic woods now, too. I think this story has been quite magic enough. Who would have thought it would take so many people to tell such a lovely story? I'm rather glad they did though, because now everyone can see what we've achieved. So now our pantomime is done. Have a Merry Christmas, everyone.
Hello there. I am Tim Parks, Artistic Director of Alliance Theatre. And I am Paul Martin, the Business Director. We would like to thank everyone who has helped us make British pantomime history this December through our production of Cinderella, the first online pantomime of its kind. When we first had the idea, we thought maybe a hundred people might like to take part. But it seemed everyone was as excited as we were, as numbers quickly grew to nearly 350. We are incredibly proud to announce that this project includes performers from Britain, across Europe, America, Africa and even Australia. This is our most ambitious production to date, as has included checking, collating and numbering over a thousand videos. But that is nothing next to the unenviable task of digitally cutting out every character and putting them all together in order. Therefore, we would like to personally thank James Rogers, our digital effects editor, for his Herculean effort in creating Cinderella and bringing her literally online. Thank you, Jimbo. Yes, thank you, Jimbo. We really do appreciate everything you've done to make this project happen so successfully. And thank you again to all our participants for taking the time to register, perform and send in their videos. Finally, if you enjoyed this performance and would like to see more or maybe even get involved next time, then please consider making a donation by visiting our website alliancetheatre.co.uk and clicking on the link. Alliance Theatre strives to create innovative productions which are inclusive and accessible to anyone who wants to join in and be a part of something positive and memorable. This approach reaches out not just to the confident performers but also those who may be disadvantaged, feel isolated or are socially and culturally excluded. Anything you could give will help us to continue to bring creative and imaginative performances not just to our local and regional area but also a national and worldwide audience as well. Everyone involved has helped to make Cinderella One Line a truly global theatre event. We both hope you enjoyed watching the show as much as we did in creating it for you. Away, my noble steed! <laughs>